Hi, this is Laura Turner, and today I'm going to talk with you about how to moderate peer feedback in uh, classrooms. Um, whenever you have a student doing a presentation or a student's doing a group project, you're going to want to actually open up um, after that presentation to let the rest of the class respond. Um, sometimes this can be good, and sometimes this can get a little out of hand. So what you really need to do, especially to motivate people to talk about their peers' work, is to become the mediator and to become the facilitator for discussion. So what you should do, I believe, is um, ask very specific questions of the students who were doing the presentation um, and then open up those questions to the class. Uh, next, you should become the mediator um, whenever the students begin to uh, sort of give feedback. Uh, you should ask, you know, what did, they, what did you like about the presentation um, to the class? What stood out the most um, to all of you? And then you can get hands that pop up and you'll get the ideas um, from them rather than saying uh, what you yourself saw or having the student who did the presentation talk about their presentation. Um, next, do not allow students to continue to give harsh or demanding feedback if one of them starts um, to do such a thing. Uh, it can get in some classrooms, especially ones that deal with um, political or social uh, themes, people can get kind of worked up. But the classroom is not a place in which we should be worked up at each other. We should be worked up at uh, the issues and the themes that we're discussing. So if students are giving harsh or demanding feedback, you should then ask that student what they mean or to elaborate on what they just said to the other student. Um, you know, a student says, I thought that was horrible, I thought this presentation was, you know, ridiculous and everything that she said was just wrong. You should ask that student, you know, um, can you be more specific? Can you give some examples? Um, can you um, tell me, you know, what exactly what your problem is? So therefore you become the liaison between the student who is on the stand and the student who is in the audience giving this feedback so that you can actually, um, number one, try to figure out what their opinion is, you know, if they really do have a really strong opinion on that presentation, and uh, number two, prevent any problems from occurring in the classroom. So that's uh, some ways to moderate peer feedback.